All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Denise Bowman, and it looks like we're gonna start tonight by getting our newly elected officials sworn in. So if we could have Ray Chapman come up first. right there all right all right you want to introduce your Bible holder my wife beautiful wife Christina all right right hand up left hand on the Bible <laughs> you ready mm -hmm. all right repeat after me I Ray Chapman, I, Ray Chapman do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will support obey and defend, support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties of my office as tax collector of Middletown Township, Bucks County, with fidelity. Congratulations. Next, we're going to have Christiane Morris come up. Hi, Howard. Hey. All right, you want to introduce Is your husband? My husband, Howard Fisher. All right. Right hand up, left hand on the Bible. You ready? All right, repeat after me. I, Christiane Morris, do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties of my office as auditor of Middletown Township, Bucks County, with fidelity. Congratulations. <laughs> nice to meet you, Howard. Yes, sure. have Matthew Farrakhan on Zoom. All right. Matthew, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. All right. And my wife, my Jen, is here with the Bible. Nice to meet you. All right. Right hand up, left hand on the Bible. And please repeat after me. I, Matthew Farrakhan. I, Matthew Farrakhan. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, obey, and defend that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties of my office, and I will discharge the duties of my, my office, as Auditor in Middletown Township, Bucks County, as Auditor of Middletown Township of Bucks County, with fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Thank you. I think we have Dana Kane last, but not least, certainly. All right, who's going to hold the Bible? All right. Are you holding the Bible? All right, there you go. All right. You guys ready? All right, left hand on the Bible, right hand up. All right, repeat after me. I, Dana Kane, I, Dana Kane do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and, the of this Commonwealth. and that I will discharge the duties of my office 
as supervisor in Middletown Township, Bucks County, with fidelity. Congratulations. Good job. Well done. Well done. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name's Brian McGuffin. I'm one of the judges in the Bucks County Court of Common Pleas in Doylestown. I happen to be a Middletown Township resident, along with my colleague, Judge Bowman. I want to congratulate her. She's just finished her second full year on the bench, and she's doing phenomenal work. I'm happy to work with her as a colleague. I also just wanted to say thanks to everybody. I want to thank the current supervisors for their work. Supervisor Payne, I believe, is appearing by video. Uh, the newest supervisors that are being sworn in tonight for their public service and everybody else that's been here tonight, that is here tonight, that's ever run in a campaign or has been successful or not in a campaign. Thanks for, there's Pat Mallon, who I see all the time as I'm riding my bike. I'm on his, my bike, he's with his dog. <laughs> and uh, just the idea that folks get off the bench of life and get involved in their community to serve uh, the public is a great uh, credit to all of you. So thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Hanna, you're prepared to come forward and take the oath as supervisor. And would you introduce your two lovely guests? My beautiful daughter, Mia Barone, and my lovely daughter, Sophia Barone. Very well. All right, and Bernadette, I think the best move, if you don't mind, is I'll have you face the audience so oh. that everyone can see you take the oath. And I'll stand uh, like this. If you face that way, oh, perfect. That way. And you guys, perfect, and then I'll just stand here. Everybody gets to see it. All right, are you ready? I, Bernadette Hanna, do solemnly swear that I will support, obey, and defend that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and that I will discharge the duties of my office, and that I will discharge the duties of my office with fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations, you've been sworn in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would now like to call the January 3rd, 2022 reorganization meeting of the Board of Supervisors to order. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Kizak? Here. Ms. Payne? Here. Ms. Hanna? Here. Ms. Kane? Here. We also have Township Manager Ms. Tooley Cools in attendance tonight, Township Solicitor Mr. Esposito, and Township Engineer Mr. Kessler. Um, right now, I'm sorry. I will now accept a motion for nomination of chairperson. I'll make a motion to nominate Mike Kizak as chairperson. Is there a second? I will second that nomination. 
Are there any other nominations for chairperson? All right, as the motion has been made and was seconded uh, by Anna Payne and was seconded by myself, I now appoint Mike Kizak as chair. All those in favor, please consent by saying A. Aye, sorry. Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, congratulations, Chairperson Kizak. Thank you. Okay, uh, next agenda item is election of a vice chairperson. I will now accept nominations for uh, vice chairperson. I will like to nominate Ms. Payne. I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Congratulations, Ms. Payne. Next on the agenda, we will consider the election of a secretary. Is there a nomination for board secretary? I'll make a motion to nominate John Corporal as secretary. Thank you, Ms. Payne. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Congratulations, Ms. Corporal. Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing Curtin and Hefner as township solicitor. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint Curtin and Hefner as township solicitor. Second. Okay. Thank you. Are there any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing David Trulove of uh, Hill Wallach as labor attorney. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve Dave Trulove of Hill, Hill Wallach as labor attorney. Thank you, Ms. Payne. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing Paul Lang of Parlow and Lang as township conflict attorney. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint Paul Lang of Parkway and Lang as township conflict attorney. Thank you, Ms. Corporal. Is there a second? second? Thank you, Ms. Payne. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing Remington and Vernick engineers as township engineer. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint I'll make a Rem motion. Rem Go ahead, Anna. Go ahead, John. <laughs> you have a delay there. I'll make a motion to appoint Remington and Vernick engineers as township engineer. Want a second, Ms. Payne? Second. Yeah, I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Uh, next on the agenda, consideration of appointing Phil Worsta of Traffic Planning and Design as the Township Traffic Engineer. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint Phil Worsta as Township uh, traffic planning and designing of traffic um, engineer. Sorry, township traffic engineer. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Put a motion and a second. Any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of authorizing the township manager's employment agreement. Is there a motion to approve the township manager's employment agreement? I'll make a motion to approve Township Manager's Employment Agreement. Thank you, Ms. Corporal. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Yes. Please state your name and address. And, uh, Andy Warren, Shady Brook. Um, what's the, what's the uh, salary for that position?
the executive base pa uh, salary is annual rate of $192,793. Okay. Do you have any idea where that places us among the townships, Falls, Bristol, Warminster, just roughly. It we did, Andy. Uh, we did look into that. So we have, she is right in the realm of um, the larger townships, both in Bucks or. Do you, do you have any, you, we don't know the number. Yeah. Uh, give me one second. No, I meant Bucks County. Bucks County. Well, with all due respect, yeah. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from the public? Seeing none, there's been a motion and a second to approve the Township Manager's Employment Agreement. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next uh, agenda item, consideration of appointing the township manager to the positions of treasurer and assistant secretary and chief administrative officer to pensions. Is there a motion? I will make a motion to appoint the township manager to the positions of treasurer and assistant secretary and chief administrative officer to pensions. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing the finance director as assistant treasurer. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to appoint the finance director as assistant treasurer. Thank you, Ms. Corporal. Is there a second? I'll second. Then a motion and a second. Any board questions? Any questions from the public? Are there salaries with this position and the previous one? There's one annual salary that the township manager receives. There is no additional compensation for holding those additional positions that I've just noted. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions from the public? Seeing none, there's been a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of establishing and authorizing advertisement of the 2022 public meetings of the Middletown Township Board of Supervisors. Is there a motion? I make a motion that we establish and authorize advertisement of 2022 public meetings of the Board of Supervisors. Thank you, Ms. Corbel. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Payne. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda is consideration of establishing bond limits in the amount of $1.5 million for treasurer, assistant treasurer, and township manager for the faithful performance of the duties of said offices. Is there a motion? I'll I'll, make, go ahead. Okay. I'll make a motion to establish bond limits in the amount of $1.5 million for treasurer, assistant treasurer, and township manager for the faithful performance of duties of said offices. Is there a second? I'll second. Then a motion and a second. Any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of appointing a chairperson to the vacancy board for 2022. Is there a nomination for a chairperson to the vacancy board for 2022? I'll nominate Helene Ratner for the vacancy of the chairperson to the vacancy board. Thank you, Ms. Payne. There has been a nomination. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. There's been a nomination and a second. Uh, are there any board questions? Uh, do we have any details on um, who he is um, and, and what he um, brings to the vacancy? Uh, certainly. Uh, Ms. Ratner is a lifelong Middletown Township resident. Ms. Ratner is and has been for years very active on the Township Park and Recreation Board. Um, she's generally been extremely engaged in community activities, community events. Um, she's been, uh, she attends township meetings um, and I think is generally viewed as a good community citizen. The position of vacancy board 
um, the role of the vacancy board chairperson is to serve as essentially a tiebreaker if we were in the position of having to appoint a replacement supervisor um, and we had a tie amongst us and we needed somebody to break the tie. So that's essentially the role of that person. Any other questions? Are there any other questions regarding the nomination of Helene Ratner to chairperson of the vacancy board for 2022? Any questions from the public? Yes, Mr. Warren. Um, I know Ms. Ratner very well. I know her family very well and respect them all. And I respect Helene. Um, I, I noticed in the positions that you elucidated, um, a number of them, and she serves them very well. Um, is, 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 she, are you, is she still the chairperson of the Democrat Party in Middletown Township? Yes, Ms. Ryder is also the chairwoman of the Middletown Township Democratic Party. And there's 43,000 people in Middletown Township? Not exactly. 43,344. It's closer. Exactly. But My question is just for appearance sake, Helene's plate is full. She serves the townships well. She deserves it. This particular position, however, would, could conceivably be a political hot potato, and we would need the perception, I would think, of neutrality um, in the tiebreaker to put the chairperson of either party in that position, of all the positions that one could serve, um, I, I think really calls into, in my opinion, the idea that ju just how neutral do we really expect this person to be. I appreciate your comments. I would, if, if you appointed the, re, the chairman of the re, chairperson of the Republican Party, I would not expect him or her to be neutral. I understand your comments. I have the utmost faith in the integrity of Helene Ratner, and I still wholly and fully support her in this role. Um, are there any other public comments concerning this nomination? Seeing none, there's been a motion and a second to appoint Helene Ratner as chairperson of the vacancy board for 2022. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Uh, is that nay? Passes for one. Next on the agenda is consideration of appointments to the various township boards and commissions. Um, we have um, a number of current sitting members of various boards and commissions who are seeking reappointment. There are also uh, several vacancies uh, to be filled. So I'll go through each of these. The first is the planning commission. Um, first, I will move to reappoint Richard Nuttall uh, to a four-year term on the Planning Commission, which would expire December 31st of 2025. Mr. Nuttall is a current member of the Planning Commission um, and has served well in that role, um, and so I would uh, support and move for his reappointment. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions regarding the reappointment of Mr. Nuttall? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Nay, or rather opposed? Passes 5-0. Mr. Nuttall is reappointed to the Planning Commission. Uh, we have also one vacancy on the Planning Commission, so I will accept a motion for a nominee to fill that vacancy. I make a motion to appoint uh, and nominate Tom Tassi for the vacancy for the Planning Commission. I'll second. Thank you. There's been a motion and a second to appoint Tom Tosti. Uh, this would be, again, for a four-year term to expire December 31st of 2025. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? I do have a question. Um, sure. Is uh, Mr. Tosti also the chairperson of the Planning Commission of Bucks County? He is. And do we feel that, as that, he's not able to be an unbiased advocate for Middletown, knowing that a lot of the development and the decisions that go from here to there and vice versa, um, be able to be neutral in his decision-making on that planning commission. 
you're certainly entitled to your opinion. I, I will tell you myself personally, I uh, do not feel like that's a conflict. Um, technically, it is not a conflict, but I don't feel that it would be a conflict of interest for the township. In fact, I view that as an advantage and an asset to have him serving simultaneously uh, on those two commissions. Um, but obviously, everybody's free to make up their own minds. Are there any other board questions? Okay, there's been a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor of appointing Tom Tosti to a vacancy on the Planning Commission for a four-year term to expire December 31st of 2025, say aye. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, did I not? Are there any questions from the public? I also know Mr. Tosti and respect him well. Thought he did a good job as a, on the, well, he was on the supervisors. Um, and, just for my edification, there are five members of the uh, Planning Commission, and um, what are the names of the, the other four? If you give me a second, I can pull them up. There are seven members of the seven? Planning Commission, yes. Uh, I'm not, let me, you, you can probably, I'm not playing word games, I'm just wanting it. Is one of them, um, Stra the members of the Planning Commission are Joseph Antonelli, Keith Ourswald, Richard Nuttall, Holly Cunningham, Jacqueline Ratner, and Thomas Piacentino. That's what I thought. Um, again, we have 43,000 people in the county. I mean, in, in the township. We, we need to, to draw from one family for appointments to this, this is crazy. Include us. Thank you, Mr. Warren. Um, so let's, uh, let's go back. There's been a motion and a second. All those in favor of appointing Tom Tosti to the Planning Commission say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 4-1. Uh, next on the agenda, we will consider appointments to the Financial Advisory Committee. There are two uh, members whose terms have expired who are up for reappointment. Those are William Appleton and Norman Bing. I will make a motion to reappoint William Appleton and Norman Bing to the Financial Advisory Board. Both have served um, admirably in that capacity and have served the township well, and both are seeking reappointment. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Oh, sorry. Thank you. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. William Appleton and Norman Bing are reappointed to the Financial Advisory Board for a four-year term to expire December 31st, 2025. There is uh, one vacancy on the Financial Advisory Board. At this time, I'll accept the nomination. I'll nominate Irene Boyle for the vacancy on the Financial Advisory Board. Thank you, Ms. Payne. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion and a second to appoint Irene Boyle to a four-year term on the Financial Advisory Board, which expired December 31st, 2025. Are there any board questions? Any questions from the public? This would be a good one. <laughs> Thank you for your vote of confidence, Mr. Warren. Uh, any other questions from the public? Seeing none, there's been a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Uh, Ms. Boyle, congratulations. Next, we have uh, consideration of appointments to the Human Relations Commission. There are, I believe, three vacancies uh, on this commission. This is for uh, two-year terms, which would expire December 31st of 2023. This time, I will accept nominations for the Human Relations Commission. I'll move to nominate and appoint uh, Charles Alfonso, Jennifer Wilder, and Matthew Wilder to the three vacancies on the Human Relations Commission. Thank you, Ms. Payne. Is there a second? I'll second that. There's been a motion and a second to appoint Charles Alfonso, Jennifer Williter, and Matthew Williter uh, to two-year terms to the Human Relations Commission. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Yes, Mr. Warren. 
I, I, I know there's a number of Warrens. There could be a number of Wilders. I am not related to Elizabeth Warren. Are the two Wilders we're appointing tonight related? Yes, they are husband and wife. We have 43,000 people in this township. We got two Ratners. We got two Wilders. You got to be able to do better. We got three applications for three vacancies on the Human Relations Commission, and we're appointing all three people who applied. I think that is a good point. We are, I would say that we are in need of volunteers for these boards. Um, one of the things that I've realized as, uh, you know, coming on board is understanding this process, and this process begins with people putting an application in. Um, so I would advocate for anyone out there that has experience for one of these boards to please put an application in. Um, these vacancies come out, come up throughout the year, um, so we would like to have you on file to know that you are um, willing to, to serve on one of our boards. Um, like he said, we had three vacancies and three applications. Could not agree more. Thank you, Ms. Kane. Okay, there's been a motion and a second to appoint Charles Alfonso, Jennifer Williter, and Matthew Williter to uh, two-year ter two -year terms on the Human Relations Commission. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Mr. Alfonso, Ms. Williter, and Mr. Williter are appointed to the Human Relations Commission. Next, uh, we have consideration of reappointments to the Historic Preservation Commission. Uh, there are three people whose terms have expired who are, have indicated uh, an interest in being reappointed. Those are George Draginis, Mary Durkin, and Roberta Laney. These are for three-year terms, which would expire December 31st of 2024. I will make a motion to reappoint George Draginis, Mary Durkin, and Roberta Laney to the Historic Preservation Committee. Uh, all three have uh, served well and have worked hard uh, in this role for the township. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0, Mr. Draginis, Ms. Durkin, and Ms. Laney are reappointed to the Historic Preservation Commission. Next, we have consideration of uh, one reappointment to the Zoning Hearing Board. Uh, Kevin Strauss, a current member, his uh, term is up, and he has uh, expressed a willingness to be reappointed. So I will make a motion to reappoint Kevin Strauss to the Zoning Hearing Board. Mr. Strauss has been a, uh, a real asset and an excellent member of um, that particular board. This would be for a five-year term to expire December 31st, 2026. Is there a second? I'll second. I'll second. Thank you. There's been a motion and a second to reappoint Mr. Strauss. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? No. Would you be able to go into um, detail around how he has been an asset on the zoning hearing board so far? Yeah, I would probably want to defer on that question to the township manager um, who, the, the, the zoning hearing board is a separate entity. They're not an advisory board to the board of supervisors like a lot of these other boards and commissions are. They don't report to us, so to speak. They're an independent, um, independent board. So I would defer to the township manager on his, his role, his involvement. So I have been filling in as a director of building and zoning for the last two months. So I have had opportunity to attend the zoning hearing board. We really do have a very active um, and engaged zoning hearing board. Um, you know, my opinion for what it's worth is that he is prepared, engaged. He asks very good questions. He visits the sites before, um, before the hearings. I don't know if any Oh, you guys have. I, was, yeah. I, I can add to that. Uh, Mr. Strauss was at one point part of the planning commission as well. Um, and before every, every meeting, he would call me to ask questions. And he was very intelligent and very thoughtful on all of his questions that he would ask applicants. I've uh, watched some of the zoning hearing board meetings where he is, uh, has done the same thing. He is, uh, very, educates himself very well on the topic at hand. And I, I do believe he is an asset to the zoning hearing board. Thank you, Mr. Yoli Coolis. Thank you, Mr. Esposito. Any additional questions? Any questions from the public? Yes, Mr. Warren. I too know, Mr. Strauss, your description of him was quite right on. Um, I wouldn't quibble with that. What I do quibble with 
is not on Kevin's appointment necessarily, but I was being somewhat facetious with two Ratners, two Wilders, a Strauss and a Tosti. This is becoming a very, very tight knit, close organ group. You've got to be at least the perception of more open. If you're not the chairman of a Democrat party, a Democrat party holder, uh, the Democrat um, board member, or the husband of a Democrat board member, you may not, you don't have much of a shot. You gotta be more open and, and, and talk about them if there's only three. Now I do know the one before this, two out of three happen to be Republicans. And based on your explanation, the other one, I'm assuming you only got three resumes. But either way, they were good appointments, so I'll let it go with that. But we got to be more open than this. I, I, well, no, listen, I, I would say I'm much less concerned with perception than I am with having good quality people serving on these boards and commissions. And I would echo wholeheartedly Ms. Kane's comment that we need more people engaged. Um, I, I, I think oftentimes it's a struggle for us to get citizens to apply for these various positions. Um, Having said that, there is, I believe, a good mix of Democrats and Republicans across the various boards and commissions. And to your point about Mr. Strauss and to the, the three uh, appointments to the Historic Preservation Committee that we mentioned previously, it's always been the intent of the board, at least as long as I've been on it, to reappoint anybody who has already served in that role if they want it unless there's some really, really good cause not to reappoint them. And so my feeling is if somebody's already served in that role and they've served well and they've been willing to sacrifice and volunteer their time for this community, if they want to continue doing it, then we should allow them to continue doing it, whether they're a Democrat, a Republican, independent, whether they're married to me or somebody else, I think that's irrelevant. So I, I hear your point, it's well taken, um, it, it's, it does not go unnoticed, but I think Perception certainly is important, but the, the quality of the people and what they bring to the table is more important. Remember, I did not question the quality of, or the veracity of any individual. I, I do believe in this idea of perception, none other than Milt Perkins. By the way, there's an excellent book that's just come out, Notes on Bucks County, I recommend it highly. And Milt Perkins is in there a lot. And he was the one who said to me, you know, Andy, perception very quickly becomes reality. So I agree, perception is perception. There are qualified people, but there's 43,000 of them in here. And I also know that we do not have lifetime appointments. So people willingness to serve, good. But as Mr. Strauss did, perhaps as, as someone mentioned, go from planning commission to zoning to parks and rec or something. But anyway, I made my point far too much. Um, good luck this year. Thank you. All right, I think we still have to vote on reappointment of Kevin Strauss to a five-year term on the zoning hearing board. There's been a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Uh, next, we have the Environmental Advisory Council. Um, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four people whose terms are expired and are up for reappointment and who have expressed a desire to be reappointed. Those individuals are Kevin Dini, Lauren LaRoe, Andrew McAloon, and Peter Tantala. These are for three-year terms which would expire December 31st of 2024. All four of these individuals have served the township well in their role in the Environmental Advisory Council. And so I would move to reappoint Kevin Dini, Lauren LaRoe, Andrew McAloon, and Peter Tentala to a three-year term on the uh, Environmental Advisory Council. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Corporal. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Next we have the uh, Park and Recreation Board. There are three individuals whose terms have expired who have expressed a, a desire to be reappointed. Those individuals are William Fuller, 
Daniel Giacomelli and Missy Kitzmiller. These are for three-year terms, which would expire December 31st, 2024. All three of these individuals um, have served uh, the township well on the Park and Rec Board, and so I would move to reappoint Mr. Fuller, Mr. Giacomelli, and Ms. Kitzmiller uh, to three-year terms on the Park and Rec Board. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Ms. Payne. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? It's my understanding that the, this board has been extremely active over the past couple of years. Um, really working on improving our parks and rec department. Is that true? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Our park and rec director is not here tonight. Otherwise, I'd hand it over it's to not. him and let him comment. But I, I agree with that assessment. Um, any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Passes 5-0. Next, we have the Citizens Traffic Commission. There is one uh, person whose term has expired who has expressed an interest in being reappointed, and that is Chris Hawhey. Uh, this is for a three-year term, which would expire December 31st, 2024. Mr. Hawhey has served admirably in this position, and so I would move to reappoint Mr. Hawhey to a three-year term to the Citizen Traffic Commission. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Payne. I think got it in first. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any board questions? Are there any questions from the public? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Um, those are all the appointments we have to make tonight um, based on the vacancies and applications received. I would just note that there still are other vacancies that need to be filled. There are a number of vacancies on the Historic Preservation Commission. There are vacancies on the Citizens Traffic Commission. And obviously these are terms that expire and not everybody wants to be reappointed. We also very often find ourselves in a situation where people have to leave their positions early, either because they move out of the township or have work commitments that interfere with their ability to serve. And so, uh, again, Ms. Kane made this point and it's dead on. I would encourage people in the township to, if you're interested, we need you. Um, you can easily apply. It's a one-page application on the township website. If you're interested in serving on any of these uh, boards or commissions, there are vacancies currently and we are, you know, we'll, we can make appointments throughout the year. So please apply. All right, next on the agenda, consideration of approving the January 3rd, 2022 bills list in the amount of $674,972.95. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the January 3rd, 2022 bill list in the amount of $674,972.95. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. There's been a motion and a second. Any board questions? Any questions from the public? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Passes 5-0. Next on the agenda, consideration of approving the minutes from the December 20th, 2021 meeting of the Middletown Township Board of Supervisors. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the December 20th, 2021 meeting of the Board of Supervisors. Thank you. Is there a second? I will second. Second. Thank you, Ms. Kane. There's been a motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Passes 5-0. Um, that concludes all of the formal agenda items, so we'll move on to public comment. Are, is there any public comment on non-agenda items? Yes, uh, ma'am in the back who had your hand up first. Sorry, Mr. Malm, we'll get you to you next. Ms. Stephanie Coons, why will you not investigate Chief Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, can you just please state your name and your address My before... Name is Barbara. I'll give you that. She knows who I am. Why won't you investigate them? Well, my two legitimate complaints. Why won't you investigate them? I can report to the board that there was a complaint made. It no, was there was no complaint made. I came to your office to, to discuss the possible complaint and show you evidence. With finding out you had already spoken to the chief of police. Then I said, I don't think you can help me, because I realized I had to have it in writing. So I left. Ten minutes down the road, I texted her two legitimate questions, concerns that need to be investigated. She refuses to do it. I want it done. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? Do it! Do your damn job! 
What do you have to say? Ms. Julie Coolers, do you wish to respond? I'll respond just for the public and for the Board of Supervisors. A complaint was made. There was a an complaint internal... wasn't made. Ma I came ma to your ma office. Ma'am, 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 you've asked her. You've heard it too. Excuse me. You've asked her and she's responding. Please okay. give her an give her an opportunity okay. to speak. Look at me. She's ma'am. A complaint was made. There was an internal investigation. The matter was closed. Okay. How I responded to Ms. Duke. She has heard also from our police captain and our police chief. No, the not allegations in that to this. she made had not in they were not founded. I want an answer to your so-called investigate. What did you investigate? Because I, I left there, you were taking notes for the investigation. I texted you ten minutes later. You said investigation's over. What the hell did you investigate? You're not looking into my two legitimate questions. I want them investigated. What are you going to do about it? Again, as I mentioned when we met, there was nothing further to look into. Yes, there is. What did you look into? Ma'am, I don't think the details of an investigation involving a township employee are appropriate for a public meeting. We're not going to okay. go into those details well, here. Ma'am, ma ma you've, you've made your point. You've made your point. I want to see she, him. Ma'am, that's not appropriate for a public meeting. You've okay. made your point. You've asked a question. The township manager has given you a response. Okay. We're not well, going to have a discussion about this in public. How do I get the so-called investigation? How do I get any proof she did anything? How? Tell me that. I want to know. I, you're, you're, you're taking for granted the fact that everybody on this board knows exactly what you're talking about. No, what they I, don't. I Maybe under, they should. What I understand is that there was a complaint made, there was an investigation done, and the investigation has been closed. No, she did not investigate my two legitimate questions. She will not investigate them. Why? I did investigate You did it, not. I don't want to bring up the you details. You did yeah. not. Ma'am, we're not going to discuss well. the details of the there investigation. Is, there has been an investigation no. and it is now closed. There, she there, did not investigate well, the two legitimate questions. What did you investigate? I, I Where, understand. Where's the results of it? Ma'am, she's not going to. Ma'am. I came to her office to sit down and figure out what to investigate. Then we're, I realized she had already spoken to the we're not. She's not going to answer those questions yeah, at a public she meeting. She cannot answer those questions at a public meeting. Well, what are you going to do about it? What's going to be done about it? The investigation, as I understand it, has been closed. No, it hasn't. It wasn't even done. I want answers to my two legitimate questions. I want answers. What are you going to do? I've had it. What are you going to do? Thank you. You're, you asked a question that's been addressed. So at this point, we're going to move on to the next. Uh, what are you going to do about the two legitimate? When are you going to? What are you going to? You going to investigate it? Yes or no? She answered your question. They've been investigated, and the matter is closed. No, it hasn't been closed. She, she, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. I want the results of the investigation. That's How do I go about that? that? That's a private matter that I'm not going to address publicly well, at, a, at a public meeting. Well, when are you going to tell me? How are you going to tell me? Ms. Duke has me? received a written response from both the police department no, and no, me. No, 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 not in, not in reference to this. No, 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 no. That's something else, and you know it. You're sitting there lying. Okay, well, You're a liar. We're, all right, we're, not, we're not going any further with this. You're a liar. Ma'am. This isn't over. And you're all going to be responsible. Is there any other public comment on non-agenda items? Mr. Mallon. Thank you. Pat Mallon, Langhorn, PA. First off, I want to congratulate our newly elected supervisors, Dana and Bernadette. Uh, and thank them for stepping up. Thank you all for stepping up. Um, I'd like to make a suggestion for what it's worth. Um, tough act to follow. Thanks, Mike. Um, look, I've been up there. I've been in your seat. I know how hard it is to get people to volunteer. Uh, it's tough. And what you find is you find that that pool of people that want to make that commitment is relatively small. And that is not a function of intent. It's a function of reality. So I would suggest this. There's a lot of people um, that don't have awareness of what these boards and commissions do and what it takes to be qualified to be on one of them. So perhaps you could begin to create an awareness campaign either via social media, Facebook, 
um, perhaps storing uh, agendas when you have uh, agendas that are not packed, and create maybe a profile of the zoning board, a profile of the planning commission. Maybe you have the chairman of that board or commission attend a meeting and do a quick uh, deck on these are the issues that we're covering within our commission and these are some of the uh, issues we're trying to tackle as part of our board. Creates awareness within the community. The other thing I think you could do uh, is advertise sooner the openings on these boards and commissions. Um, I know when I looked at the website uh, maybe a week ago, basically said all the boards were full. So if I'm a resident and I want to get involved, I'm looking at that, I'm saying, there's really no reason for me to do anything because all the, all, all the boards are full. So instead of doing it at reorg, maybe you know before you get into your budget sessions when the agendas do tend to get packed because you're trying to you know, figure out how you're gonna uh, plan for you know, fiscally the next year, maybe you say, planning commission, we got two positions that are gonna be coming up. Zoning board, we got two positions that are coming up. And do it in November or do it in October so that people are aware and they can begin to think about it. And then at your November meeting, your December meeting, you can again ask those folks and encourage those folks, if you have any interest in any of these boards or commissions, please make sure you get your application in. We will be announcing these appointments at the reorg meeting in January. Again, just in a way uh, for you to create awareness, uh, get more people involved, and um, at least you can say, you know, you gave it your best effort to, to be transparent and, and create a, uh, an open uh, uh, sourcing for these, for these roles. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate that, and, um, and I acknowledge it, and certainly I think that um, everyone on this board is committed to trying to do a better job with the awareness. I, you know, one of the practical realities is the terms all expire at the end of the year. And so what we find ourselves in a situation is the end of the year comes around and you've got a bunch of expiring terms and then you're scrambling to try to find people to fill vacancies. And it's obviously not the best way to do it. And so um, I appreciate it. I appreciate the advice. And I think, I think we all, I've spoken to other board members about this, about trying to do a better job of raising awareness about what these boards do and the opportunities for people to serve. I mean, we, we need more resident engagement. Um, so, so thank you. Um, okay, is there any other public comment on non-agenda items? Yes, sir. Just please state your name and address when you come up to the podium. Good evening. My name is Christopher Nowakowski. I live on Albert's Way in Langhorne, and I have done so with my family since 1982. Um, I'm here tonight to speak about the state of politics in Middletown. Um, as has happened nationally, a, a strain of extremism has begun to seep into our local affairs. And uh, I speak not about any of our supervisors, past or present, but about another elected official here in Middletown. So let me start off by saying I'm a registered Republican, but I vote both ways. Um, I consider myself more of an independent. Based on the way things have gone nationally of late, I was concerned that I might accidentally vote for a, an election conspiracy theorist in November. So I sent out a series of emails to a variety of candidates for office in like October. And several responded, including Ms. Kane, you know, our newly elected supervisor, and I'm eternally grateful for that. Um, I did receive one response from a candidate here in Middletown that confirmed my fears. Um, and it spoke about electoral fraud, theft, irregularities, um, it was pretty, pretty off the wall. Um, so my worries over a purveyor of the big lie holding elected office here, perhaps using it as a springboard to a supervisor position or a county commissioner or an electoral oversight office were very real. So I took this email and I went to the next door web platform where a lot of our neighbors connect and I shared uh, a post, you know, some of the quotes, some of the screenshots. And uh, of course it triggered a lengthy discussion with a vari wide variety of, of opinions. I got a lot of flack for it, but also some of our neighbors reached out to me privately and said, you know, the, the woman who you're talking about has some more extremist views and we have proof of it. So they shared with me some screenshots from the, the Gab, it's a right wing social media platform that's known for a lot of hate speech. And I went on there and I took a look around and we got some screenshots and I was pretty disturbed by the things I saw. Um, not just the election denialism, which has actually become relatively mainstream, it's sad to say. Um, stuff talking about 
Biden's inauguration being the crime of the century, talk about rampant electoral fraud and theft. There was a lot of COVID misinformation posting, talk about the vaccines being a population reduction scheme that is killing people. There was a lot of support for the QAnon conspiracy theory, which I'm sure a lot of you are at least vaguely familiar with, talking about the uh, nation being in a civil war, urging people to do research on a variety of topics like ch child human trafficking, the deep state and the satanic cabal, and the worst of them all, and it's the reason I'm here tonight. If this stuff hadn't been on there, I probably wouldn't have come down. But there's a lot of blatant anti-Semitic remarks and posting. So I printed them out. And I know everyone can't see, but there's a post here. And it says, the crime of the century, September 11th, was committed by the Israeli Mossad Intelligence Agency. The FBI, the CIA, George W. Bush, and his entire cabinet were all involved. Now, it has a picture of George Bush with a star of David on his sweater. It has menorahs in the background, and it has anti-Semitic tropes of ogre-looking creatures with large noses, which is a very anti-Semitic, you know, long-term historical sort of play. And there was another one. And if you allow me to read this, there's no foul language, but it's not comfortable to hear. It says CDC Director Rochelle P. Walensky is a Jew. CDC Deputy Director Ann Schuchat is a Jew. CDC Chief of Staff Sherry A. Berger is a Jew. CDC Chief Medical Officer Mitchell Wolf is a Jew. CDC Director Washington Office Jeff Reshek is a Jew. COVID Czar Jeffrey Zients is a Jew. COVID Senior Director Andy Slavitt is a Jew. Health and Human Services Secretary Xavier Becerra is a Jew. Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary Rachel Levine, formerly of Pennsylvania, is a dude and a Jew. Pfizer's CEO is a Jew. Moderna's vaccine, created by a Jew. Johnson & Johnson's CEO is a Jew. Teva is an Israeli pharmaceutical company with a Jewish CEO. Regeneron Pharma CEO is a Jew. AstraZeneca's CEO is to take over as CEO of Teva, which means he's a Jew. But go ahead and take that vaccine, you stupid goy. And goy is slang, an alternate language for non-Jewish person. So the general theme is that the vaccine is a plot, you know, among Jewish people against Christians. And the reason I rise to speak about this is not for cancel culture, nothing like that. I've never been a big fan. I'm just here to shed light on what's going on in this township and the views of some people. Now, the person whose views these are, and we have proof because her name is attached to the postings, was newly elected Auditor Christy Ann Morris. Now, Ms. Morris was here earlier this evening, but she left. I'm not sure why, but she refused to take accountability for her posts when I posted about them on social media on Nextdoor. She commented a couple times and then ran away like a coward. I'm not sure if she's ashamed or she just didn't want to deal with it, but this is what's going on behind the scenes. Now, there's a famous quote from Eli Wiesel, a famous Holocaust survivor and activist. And he said, I swore never to be silent whenever and wherever human beings endure suffering and humiliation. We must always take sides. I'm here tonight because I urge all good citizens from the board to our neighbors, the people listening at home to indeed take a side. It's the side of respect the side of equality, the side of civil discourse. Speak out against hate and this disgusting anti-Semitism. Do not allow it to go unchallenged. That's why I'm here tonight, to shine a light on this abomination that has found its way into Middletown Township's elected officialdom. Thank you for your time. I also have, pardon me, I have printed out the uh, proof and the copies of the screenshots and the messaging, and I'm happy to hand them out. Let anyone who wants take a look and see what's going on for yourself. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Is there any other public comment on non-agenda items? Yes. Good evening. Thank you, ma'am. Can you please just state your name and your address? 
Yes, my name is Karen Hall. I live in <clears throat> uh, Highland Gate in Langhorn. I would like to support Chris's uh, statement that he made earlier that the abomination of this um, elected officials viewpoints um, cannot uh, be a representation of the political views of myself for, for one and then for the people that are uh, clearly looking to find ways to meet to a middle ground and eliminate the polarization of elected officials and, and gearing people towards that view. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other public comment on non-agenda items? Seeing none, we'll move on to other business, and I'm going to let our uh, two newly elected supervisors go first. Ms. Kane. Yeah, I just wanted to, to thank everyone. Um, I am excited to start this, this six-year term. Um, it's been a whirlwind of information over the past couple of weeks. I wanted to thank everyone from our township manager who has been extremely um, connected and um, making sure that I am up to date. She is always available for questions. Um, so I really wanna thank her um, for everything that she's done over the past couple of weeks. I've also been in touch with multiple board members. They've reached out, been extremely welcoming. So um, it's, it's exciting and um, I look forward to serving you um, and hopefully you know, keeping Middletown as great as it is. Thank you, Ms. Kane. Ms. Hanna. Hello, I also wanted to say thank you. I'd like to piggyback on what Dana said. Um, the township manager and also the board of supervisors have been very helpful. Um, there is a lot of information, um, but I am as excited as well. And I also wanna thank my family, especially my daughters for putting up with um, what we've been doing, but they know it's important to serve your community and that's what I wanna do. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hannah. Um, we'll move on to Mr. Kessler. I just wanna thank the board uh, for our reappointment. Uh, it is a, a pleasure to serve uh, the township and work with uh, the great staff uh, and, uh, and boards that we have here. So uh, looking forward to this upcoming year uh, and wishing everyone a happy new year. Thank you, Mr. Kessler. Mr. Estevezito. Just wanted to reiterate what Mr. Kessler said. Thank you for uh, reappointing my firm as the uh, township solicitor. It is a pleasure to, to serve you. Also wanted to con congratulate uh, Ms. Kane and Ms. Hanna for, on your appointments. I look forward to working uh, with both of you and happy new year. Thank you. Ms. Tioli Coles. Thank you. Um, I will just um, follow up and congratulate Ms. Kane and Ms. Hanna. Um, it's really exciting to be working with a board of four women. No offense, Mike, but it's pretty exciting to see the changing dynamics of politics in Middletown. I'd like to thank the board for their vote of confidence. It's really my honor to serve Middletown Township. I'm happy to be here, um, and I really enjoy working for this community. And uh, most importantly, I would like to introduce our new director of building and zoning. Many of you know that I've been filling in for the last two months. We had a um, uh, a, a very active recruitment process, um, and I'm happy to introduce Jim Ennis. He's in the back, not to be confused with Pat Ennis. I know we're just trying to confuse everyone. Jim comes to us um, most recently from Upper Dublin Township, where he served in this role. He's worked also um, in the private sector uh, for a consultant, working in both Warminster Township and New Hope, and started his career at the Montgomery County Planning Commission. So we are super excited uh, to welcome Jim. Today's his first day. Welcome, Mr. Ennis, glad to have you on board. Thank you, Ms. Tioli Cools. Uh, Ms. Corporal. I just wanted to congratulate Ms. Kane and Ms. Han Ms. Hanna and um, welcome you both to the board. I'm excited for the new year. And um, yeah, it's pretty exciting having four women on the board. Um, but we're happy that we have Mr. Kizak here as well, being chairperson. Um, and I'm excited and happy new year to everybody. Thank you, Ms. Corporal. Ms. Payne. Um, to try not to sound redundant. Um, happy New Year. Let's hope 2022 is uh, better than last. Uh, welcome, Ms. Kane and Ms. Hannah. 
congratulations. I'm excited to work with both of you. It is very neat to have four women on the board, but um, good luck, Mr. Kizak, dealing with four women. Just kidding. Um, and welcome, Mr. Ennis. I, I think that, right, Jim Ennis, um, not Pat Ennis, Jim Ennis, uh, to Middletown Township. And I hope you have a wonderful first year and first day. Thank you, Ms. Payne, and I will um, again welcome Mr. Ennis, glad to have you here. I will uh, thank and congratulate Mr. Esposito and Mr. Kessler on their reappointments. We're uh, very pleased to have you guys staying on board. Congratulations to Ms. Dioli Cools uh, for sticking around. We're glad to have you here too. Um, I, I can honestly say we have the best manager in the entire county, if not farther beyond. We're really, really lucky to have her and um, we're thrilled that she uh, isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, we're really, really lucky here in this township. Um, I also, of course, want to welcome uh, Ms. Kane and Ms. Hanna. I am honored to serve with the two of you and really, really excited to see all the great things uh, that you two guys are going to do. Um, this is a fantastic board. I'm really, really happy to be a part of it. So welcome um, and um, thank you for, for doing this. And once again, thank you to all the residents who have volunteered to serve on the various boards and commissions. Um, we really, really appreciate um, your community activism. Um, with that, I will accept a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second. We are adjourned, thank you.